Hey, what's up, pop-up camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin'. So today, as the title suggests, I wanna talk all about your pop-up camper water heater. Now, for our pop-up, this is a 2008 Jayco Select 12HW, we have an Atwood propane water heater. So it's not, it uh, doesn't have like uh, electric um, heating capabilities, it's solely gas or propane. And specifically, it's an Atwood G6A-7. If you want to kind of look that up and reference ours in relation to what yours might be. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, before we even jump into the water heater over, over here, you have to make sure, of course, you have water on board and in your water heater. So two ways to do that, of course. One is gonna be your city water connection fill which is right here. The first thing that that city water is gonna fill up is of course the water heater if you're connected to city water. Out here we're at a state park, we don't have any um, you know, city water coming in, so we have water in our water holding tank. We threw some water in our um, gravity fill and turned on our water pump, which of course filled our water heater. Now, um, if you're gonna go that route like we did, make sure, of course, there's no air in the line. Bleed that air out and run a little bit of water through the water heater before you turn that on. All that being said, just make sure there's some water in your water heater before you go and try and turn it on. Of course, I conveniently parked right next to this tree, but our door just flipped open. So let's go over the main components of the water heater first. So of course, first things first, the gas flows in through here into your controller. Now this is called a White Rogers controller and it houses, of course, your, um, I guess, valve for going on and turning it to pilot. We'll get into that on the operation. It also controls how hot and how cold you want your water to be. I usually just leave it right at the center, right on center line. And you might find that if you have a different type of hot water heater, it has like a little plastic swing arm down here that'll also control the temperature of your water. So now moving on down, of course you're gonna have gas flowing into this main tube here. And this right here is called an air shutter. This is adjustable and will, um, of course if you uh, remove this screw here, you can adjust it to adjust your flame, but ours seems to be pretty good as is. Now, moving on down the line to the right of the uh, main tube here, we of course have our pilot. Now this is gonna be always lit if you have um, your uh, hot water heater on and that's gonna heat up this thermal couple here. Now there's some magic happens where <laughs> this um, pilot of course heats up to a, a, the thermal couple to a certain amount and then the pilot will stay lit and then as needed the hot water heater will of course regulate um, the temperature or, or the temperature of the water based on your setting here. So that's essentially, you know, the uh, components of your hot water heater. Now you also have, of course, your temperature pressure relief valve right here. If the temperature or pressure raises too high, this will release some water. And then down below, you might not be able to see it, but we have our um, drain valve. Now our hot water heater here is aluminum on the inside. So our um, water heater does not have the uh, anode rod. Now commonly if your hot water heater is for example steel or some material like that you will have an anode rod that will be attached to the back of the drain valve so you'll periodically want to check to make sure that your anode rod is still in decent condition. And if you haven't already go ahead and turn on your propane pretty slowly. If you open this up too quickly it could freeze out either the either the tank itself or the valve within your propane lines. Okay, so let's jump into the operation. Here's what you're gonna do. This is currently on off, and we're gonna turn it all the way past on to pilot, and you may or may not be able to hear the gas flowing. Now what we're gonna do is take our wand lighter and light the pilot light. Let's see if I can get this to work. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. 
just like that. And we're gonna hold it on pilot for approximately 30 seconds until that thermocouple warms up. And then once that thermocouple warms up, we can rotate it back to the on position just so it lines up with that indexing point. Now, here's where that hotter and colder, cooler, if you will, um, slider comes into play. Because we ran the water heater earlier, the water inside is probably still reasonably hot, so the um, water heater doesn't think it needs to turn on. However, if we wanted it hotter, for example, we could flip this over, and of course, it's gonna flip on. So now that the hot water heater is cranking along, we've got that nice, blue flame with just a little bit of yellow in it. That's essentially what you're looking for. You don't want it to be mostly yellow. You want that flame to be a nice blue with a little bit of yellow mixed in there. So now that that's cranking along, if I had to guess, I'd say usually if the water's like, you know, just cold water and you haven't heated it up before, maybe 15 minutes for the, um, right at that average setting, let that warm up and then once the hot water heater um, you know regulates and finds that it's uh, at the appropriate temperature it'll shut off that main burner and that pilot light will remain on now I don't like leaving the pilot light lit for the whole camping duration I just turn on the whole system as needed you know obviously only once a day and then once we're done just shut it off because we don't need um, hot water for washing dishes or anything like that so it really is that simple to get your water heater going in your pop-up camper. Of course, make sure your propane's on, you don't froze up, freeze out your propane lines. And if you're having trouble getting your hot water heater started and it seems like everything else is in order, you can try essentially priming your propane system. The best way I like doing that is to um, turn on your stove um, and that way you kind of know gas is flowing and you can rule out any other um, problems with your gas system prior to that stove. As long as that's going, your hot water heater should work. And like I said, it's simple as that. Gas is on, water's in your water heater, of course, and then just, of course, turn it to pilot, light that pilot, hold it for about 30 seconds or thereabouts, flip it to on, set your temperature settings for your water, and you should be good to go. So, like I said, as simple as that. Hopefully this guy helps you, maybe if you're in a panic trying to get uh, your water heater going out while you're camping. And as always, guys, hopefully you'll see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we'll see you out there camping.